Hey YouTube, Paul Phillips here with Pat Tech Photography and Gear Reviews. Today we're doing kind of an impromptu video uh, generated, uh, initiated from an email from one of the followers. And the viewer was asking about the type of lighting kit that we use to light our YouTube videos. And I thought, geez, that's a great question. Uh, happy to share that information with you. And so what we're going to talk about today is the Impact Brand 3 Light Mini Boom Lighting Kit from B&H Photo in New York. We purchased the kit about, uh, I would say, three years ago, to be honest, and we've used it for all of our YouTube videos with no issues whatsoever, other than the odd incandescent bulb uh, uh, burning out. Um, but I'll cover the ins and outs, what's good, what's bad about it, and uh, try to give you some best practices advice. So, you know, the, the crux of the kit comes in a nice... Uh, heavy duty case. It's got these, this heavy duty strapping like seat belt material. The whole kit fits into the case so you can get your boom stand, your two eight foot stands. Everything fits in, no issues. We've taken it out in the field a number of times and had no uh, problems whatsoever. Uh, it also comes with the third light which goes on the mini boom which uh, I have to be honest we have hardly ever used. Uh, it's got a five inch reflector. Um, the only issue we've had with the whole kit in general are these little plastic switches that uh, are part of the system and on the five inch reflector because the wattage of the bulb is quite low no issues this one's still intact but on the two uh, light stands where you're using 500 watt incandescent bulbs okay warning <laughs> 500 watt bulbs incandescent bulbs like these guys here be very careful do not touch them with your bare hands even when you turn them on for 10 seconds they are white hot you'll get a severe burn and they also generate a tremendous amount of heat so we've always been quite warm and cozy when doing the youtube videos here in the studio um, and so that's why we switched recently to fluorescence i'm going to talk about that in a second okay so let's get the case out of the way uh, the eight foot stands also come with a couple of umbrellas, all right? I think they're about uh, 30 inch umbrellas, which work uh, quite well. And the umbrellas uh, just slide into the umbrella holders here. Uh, let's see if I can get that to go in there for you. There we go. Yeah, tighten them up. And then expand the umbrella, and then you can you can move the whole system as you need it to get the angle that you need. So very straightforward. So two eight-foot lighting stands, two umbrella holders, two 12-inch reflectors. The insulators on the reflectors are wood, and they're they're very good quality. Like I say, the whole system has been good quality. The only issue is that the switch is melted out, and not surprisingly, with 500 watt incandescent bulbs. Um, the, the switches were, they were not real high quality to be honest and uh, myself being a, a mechanic in a former life I just took the switch apart and you know connected the wires and soldered them up and taped it up and it's, it's been fine ever since but you know $220 and three years of use that's great value I mean the kit is really good the switches are the only weak link and so the deal now is here just let me show you the height <clears throat> I'll take this off So I've got the lower section extended as far as it'll go. If I extend the second section, you know, I'm 6'2", I think it is, and shrinking. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's about six feet, and then you're gonna get another two feet out of the, the top section. So you've got all the height you're gonna need for, you know, I can't imagine needing any more height. And the boom stand will take you up to about 12 or 13 feet, something like that. So. Uh, the stands are air conditioned, air conditioned, <laughs> that would be nice, eh? They're air cushioned. Uh, quality is reasonable for what we paid for them. I have no uh, issues uh, whatsoever. So let's talk about the bulbs. Uh, the kit comes with a couple of 500 watt incandescent bulbs. Uh, like I say, we use these incandescents, the whole lighting setup. Basically, we had two 500s and a couple of 250s uh, shining onto the screen here. So what we've switched to now is uh, these fluorescent bulbs. And they're quite the beast, <laughs> to be honest with you. So this is what a 45 watt fluorescent uh, bulb looks like uh, compared to the incandescent. 
these, th these things are huge. Now, they're 45 watts uh, with a 200 watt equivalent. So they're putting out 200 watts of light. And so in this video, you're probably noticing a bit of an orange tin here, tinge on the screen here because I've only got one 200 watt fluorescent in use here. Normally I'd have the second one just off camera uh, behind the umbrella. So just be aware of that. So if you're looking to do YouTube videos inexpensively, uh, get yourself a couple of 45 watt, 200 watt equivalent fluorescent bulbs. All right, where do you get them? These two, uh, let's see, the brand is, it looks like it's, it's called Enersaver, and the, the name on the bottom is Globe, and I purchased these at Walmart for like $14.95 a piece. Okay, uh, what we're switching to, or may switch to, uh, Cowboy Studios now has a couple of 105 watt fluorescent bulbs. They look almost identical to this, only they are 500 watt equivalent uh, daylight balanced at 5500 Kelvin. Uh, so we've got a couple of those on order. But, you know, like I say, if you want to get away inexpensively, two of these bulbs from Walmart, they give you 400 watts of light uh, combined. Plus we have uh, another couple of uh, we have 100 watt fluorescent bulb here, another 100 watt fluorescent there, 100 equivalent. They're about 26 watts. You can get those from Home Depot. They're basically the same light you use for illumination in a basement or wherever. So that's 200 watts shining at the screen and 400 watts in front of me. And that's going to change when we get the, you know, the 500 watt equivalents. But all in all, if you're looking to do YouTube videos, uh, my recommendation would be get into fluorescence because first of all, it's better for the environment. They're cooler. In case I didn't already mention, be careful with these 500 watt incandescent bulbs. If you go with this kit, these things will burn you. You can't even have them on for a second with and touch them. You're going to get a severe burn. Now, the longevity of the bulbs, two years. Uh, you know, we've had the kit for, for upwards over two years and, and no issues whatsoever. I just burned out two of these recently, so you're getting good longevity from them. Um, the longevity from the fluorescence is obviously going to be a lot longer, and, you know, so we're hoping for good things. So, but just be aware, I mean, uh, you'll probably notice in this video a bit of a blue tinge on the screen. And the next video that I do, we have the two 105 watt bulbs, which are 500 watts equivalent. So that'll be a thousand watts in front of me instead of 400. That's gonna make a huge difference. So I'll make a note of that in the next video so that you can, uh, you can see and judge for yourself. But um, I'll put a link on the video as well uh, for the kit at B&H. But yeah, if you're looking for a, a decent lighting kit, and, and another thing too, if you wanna save some money, uh, I'm pretty sure that Impact has just the two light stands uh, for a lot less money than what we paid for the three light kit. So that might be the way for you. Uh, the boom stand that we have, I have to be honest for with you, I use the boom stand primarily to hold a reflector and tilt a reflector. You know, if I'm out in the field and I got sun bouncing onto a model or something like that. Uh, if we're in the studio, we're just using the eight foot stand. So. I hope that's a help. I mean, um, I, I can't think of anything else to tell you about the lighting kit that we have. Decent quality for what you're paying for it. You know, B&H always has great service. So, you know, you can buy this kit with confidence and uh, it'll do the job for you. And then it's just a matter of where you're going to source your light bulbs from. So uh, that's it for this one. Don't forget to subscribe and like us and all that good stuff. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye for now.